So welcome back to the channel. I'm back in beautiful Scotland. It probably is one of my favourite places in the UK. I'm in the Glencoe area. I just spin you around. I think behind me, you can just see the buckle there. Now, further down the stream, there's a really iconic shop. But I'm going to take you further up and try and get some it probably not photographed so often. But the main reason of this video is I'm going to try and show you some tips that I've picked up along the way um, in the last few years. Quite basic tips to help me with my landscape photography. So uh, please join me. Hopefully we get a decent shot at the end of it as well. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So the first tip that I really benefited from was just slowing down, just chilling a little bit, instead of just getting to a place and start snapping away. So just move around. In this location, I could go up on the rocks here, get a different viewpoint, or I could come down a bit lower or get in the water itself and really look back up at the mountain. So just a few millimeters movement, especially with a wide angle, can make a massive difference to your shot. Well, I was hoping that this rain was going to stop at some point. There's been so much rain here in Scotland. It's uh, fantastic, but it's uh, proving hard to make a video. So I'll just wipe the lens for you. You might prefer not seeing me so well, but there we go. We've uh, a bit clearer there. Once you've got your composition fixed, you can get your tripod out and uh, try and get that all um, set up. While I'm setting up, I'll give you tip number two. Try and get your horizon straight. I see so many people, especially beginner photographers, come to a great location and the horizon is on the wonks. I know you can rectify that in editing, but if you've got quite a tight image and you've got all everything in that you want, all the different parts of the image, if you start turning it, you're gonna lose things or cut things off. So if you can get your horizon level straight from the off, it makes things so much easier. Um, when you come to editing later on. Something I talk about a lot in my photography is getting separation in your shots. And what I mean by that is, I just spin you around here. So for instance, we can see all the water. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? All around here, if I just go a little bit higher now, you see where the water goes around this bit in the middle, this island kind of thing. But if I go low, it starts to just get a little bit muddled and confused. It might work, but sometimes um, it doesn't look so good in your shot. So like I was saying, just moving a few millimeters, just wipe my lens again, can make a massive difference to your shot. Now the weather is pretty wet and miserable, which is to be expected in Scotland, but I do absolutely love it. And I'm gonna try and set up a shot, taking those three things or three or four things that I spoke about. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, get my composition, get that horizon straight, and then try and get some separation within the shot as well. It's absolutely fantastic. Just look, there's a bit of light coming out behind me. So I'm hoping that will go over onto the buckle. I quite like this here as I'm quite low. So that island isn't too, too much to be bothered about. Try not to fall in the water. But um, I'll just show you what I mean on, on here, what I'm trying to, to get a shot of. So that's the in-camera view that I'm just taking a shot of. Now I haven't got it on the tripod obviously, but um, I'll get that set up in a minute. I might have to change around a little bit, but I love the amount of water that's just flowing through here now. It's absolutely incredible. It really is a torrent coming down. So I'll, uh, I think I'll try and take a shot here and then I might move around a little bit as well. So I'm going to have to show you this guys, it doesn't always go perfect with photography. Uh, I ended up going in the water pretty high up, uh, pretty much to my waist. Uh, I'll just show you my wellies now. There's a, quite a bit of water in there. There you go. But I'm very thankful to uh, these socks I've got. They're seal skin socks. They're absolutely incredible, waterproof. So that's not too bad. My legs are a little bit wet, but the actual sock themselves are fine. So uh, well, he's back on and I'll try again to get the shot. So I've got my composition and uh, I'm quite happy with how that's set up. On the what you're looking through now, the live view, 
it's um, it crops it a little bit on this camera for some reason but uh, I'll give you if I can zoom out no, that's about it but that's a basic idea of what I've got and then you can see my horizon there you see the green line it's just ticking back and forth so that's nice and level as well I'm just going to put the polarizer on just to uh, take a bit of the, the glare off the water, make it a bit more contrasty. I might put an ND3 on, three-stop filter. I'm not sure if I need it because it's quite a dull day. But I'll just see what kind of texture that we can get in this, uh, in this water. So I'm just going to pick my focus point right on the buckle there. And uh, because I'm not too bothered about this being in focus in the foreground here, I want it to really draw you in up to the buckle so I'm hoping I've got a little bit of blue sky behind me now which is fantastic I'm just hoping it will shift over over onto the buckle but we'll there's a little bit peeking through so I'll try and get a shot now and see how we get on. 